This video is introduction to first break picking topic. You might be curious about the best way to pick the first break event and if there are any open source tools available. Here you'll find the answers to all of these questions. My name is Roslan and you're on a channel dedicated to teaching machine learning in oil and gas. And this is what I've learned about first breaks. It is actually the first stage of the workflow for processing seismic data. For those who are not familiar with the topic, the first arrivals correspond to the first breaks that contained important feature information. For instance, you see where the first breaks are on this synthetic seismogram. When the first event of a signal is visible, we pick the event. First break data can be used to define static correction, which refers to a correction applied to seismic data. It accounts for the impact of near surface irregularities, such as to correct the position of source and receivers. Static correction has a significant impact on the resulted section. Here, for instance, you can see how this section might be affected by poor first break picking. It is also necessary to pick high quality travel times to create the shallow, near surface velocity model. It is important for seismic migration and full wave inversion workflows. For instance, Take a look at this velocity model. Ok, bearing in mind how crucial the first breaks off was, we now consider many options for picking them. And it should not be a surprise for you. I will talk about the manual, automatic and machine learning based picking. The simplest method is manual picking as you are aware. And you know what it's cool? We can select the first arrivals even for traces with poor quality all that are missing. We'll make use of the nearby traces and get the job done. But because there are many traces in seismogram, especially with high density acquisition, picking takes a long time. Consider that you'll need to examine each trace on this stack. Let's take a look at open source tools for manual picking. You might consider this tool. It offers both a GUI for picking and a function for reading segway files. Okay. If we don't want to do it by hand, we have powerful computers that can do the hard work, right? Only partially. Many semi-automated methods have been proposed that intend to make the work easier. Each method has its own benefits and drawbacks, for obvious reasons. I won't cover all of them in this video. I'm not going to bore you down with it. I'll discuss the Windows-based methods because its variations are often used in oil and gas. The STA over LTE algorithm works by measuring the ratio of amplitudes in two moving windows. A sudden increase in ratio denotes their arrival time. See the following illustration of the technique. The first breaks is when the derivatives goes over the chosen threshold for the first time, or in the other case when the derivative reaches its highest point. This method works well with simple data, but it breaks down when the data is noisy. Check out how the algorithm works with complex noisy traces. The large amount of noise before the first break makes it hard to predict the exact point. Depending on the condition of the survey, the data usually has a lot of these kind of traces. This makes picking time consuming and it takes weeks to manually adjust parameters across the survey. On GitHub, there are many open source tools that implement the algorithm. The first program lets you load the seismic data and change common parameters to see how your data is triggered. The second is a tool that implements the algorithm for automatic microseismic event detection. All the links in the description to this video. So currently we have a problem. The manual picking is time consuming. The analytical solutions, for example, STA or LTA is sensitive to low quality data and requires intense human involvement. As you might expect, a lot of machine learning methods were proposed to solve the problem. In general, machine learning can handle this task in few different ways. It can be considered as a regression. When given a trace, the model predicts only one value, the arrival times. In other way, the task can be thought of as a semantic segmentation. In this case, the machine learning predicts a binary mask for each trace. Before the first break, every trace is labeled as negative and every sample after the break is labeled as positive. This table provides a summary of all related work, keeping in mind that most studies use convolution neural network and use a seismic image as input. 
The accuracy ranges from 78 to 98 percent. Convolutional neural networks can go further than that. It can predict first arrivals better than conventional methods. It can also work in cases of missing traces. Here is how SegNet solves picking problem using shot gathers with sparsely spaced traces. There are several down sampling stages in the encoder and the same number of upsampling stages in the decoder. There are also a pixel by pixel classification layer that produces the prediction. Let's take a look at the gather which is used for testing. It has the background, industrial electrical interference, a signal area of very weak post first break reflection the surface wave, near offset direct waves and far offset reflected waves. Quite challenging setup for the picking. White vertical zone shows where missing traces are. For the three cases of missing traces, the classification accuracy is greater than 99%. The chosen first breaks are also spatially continuous and generally consistent with one another. For the sake of comparison, Let's take a look at convolution neural networks and see how it compares to the STA over LTA Art. method. Based on the mean absolute error metric, convolution neural networks performs 10 times better than the analytical one. Neural networks are not only more accurate, but they also work much faster. And let's take a look at what we have on GitHub to get you started with machine learning for picking the first arrival. I've already talked about this wrapper in my other videos. I really think you should give it a try. The wrapper comes with a complete training code, a synthetic generation pipeline, and a well-written summary. In the next wrapper, the solution is using a set of feature extractors and then applies artificial neural networks for predicting first break occurrence. To learn where the product of first break picking is used, I recommend checking out this video. I explain what forward and inverse problems are and go over 9 geophysics papers.